welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the adoption tax credit and how simple it can be for your family, even if you adopt it through foster care, to use this credit. I really am passionate about making this simple for you guys today because I had such a hard time trying to figure this out and how to make it applicable for our life. And I didn't even know it was able, we were able to use it. So let me tell you my story of why I'm doing this video and then we'll jump into the video. We knew about the tax credit about five years ago when we adopted our boys from foster care and we were told that we couldn't use this credit because we didn't have any expenses for adopting our boys and this tax credit is only for expenses that you paid for, for your child um, if you adopted domestically or internationally or through foster care if you paid for any fees through doing that. We thought like, okay, we don't really qualify. We didn't pay any fees for adopting our children. Praise God, that's awesome. But we still just put them on our taxes anyways, saying that they were there. This year I read an article in January that said that most kids in foster care, if they get a subsidy from the state for being adopted out of foster care because they're considered special needs, would qualify for the adoption tax credit even if they didn't pay any fees to be adopted. And I was like, what? My mind was just like blown. So I normally do my own taxes and I'm pretty good at it. We have very simple taxes. We both have W-2s. We both work at places where they give you W-2s, which I'm grateful for that the taxes are so easy. Um, but I was like, I need some professional advice here if this is true that we can get this adoption tax credit. And so I went to a place where they do taxes professionally and I heard great things about this place and I sat down and I explained my situation to this lady and she just didn't have anything to do with me. She thought that, I don't know what she was thinking, but she was like, no, you can't get it at all. It's just a credit. It goes against your liability and I understand all that stuff. It does. Um, but then I tried to explain to her, but look, what about our children? They're considered special needs and I just kind of tr got treated like, oh, you guys make enough money you're okay, like, you don't really, I don't know, it was just odd, like, we were wrong, we were completely wrong, when in reality, we were completely right about this, and we searched around again, and if you don't have an adoptive community around you through, like, the foster care system or wherever you've adopted from, I would suggest getting one. My favorite place to go to get one, believe it or not, is Facebook. We are a part of this group about, like, um, it's like about foster care and it's amazing and I just went on there and I typed what do you guys do about this adoption tax credit and how do you get it and like those mamas on there were so nice and so kind they gave me information I was like do you do I need to go out of state to get this done because I know it's true and I asked some other people and they're like yeah it's true that you can get a credit back for your kids that you adopted not a full credit, but a partial credit. So it was definitely something that saved us a few thousand dollars actually by doing it the way these mamas told me to do it. So let me tell you a couple things about this adoption cr tax credit. First of all, it's non-refundable. It used to be a refundable credit and now it's not refundable at all. And you can get up to $13,810 per child as of 2018 from the previous 2018 year if you adopted your child in that year you could get that back in credits on your taxes so this is how much you would owe to the IRS so if you owe a lot of money to the IRS this could be really beneficial to you um, and it could be a useful in a credit it's kind of like how they it's like a deduction kind of so like they have a $24,000 standard deduction right now it's kind of like that they they add that to your total so whatever you are liable for on your tax credit or on your taxes this is what you would have to pay and for us we have four children so we, we technically didn't owe a ton of taxes after all, all is said and done and it actually like got a refund up to two thousand five hundred dollars more than we would have gotten if we didn't use the tax credit and it's rollover it's rollover money so like we can roll this tax credit money over for the next five years fascinating right <laughs> so we adopted two children in 2018 through the foster care system and they're considered special needs because we get subsidies from our state for our children because of the experience they've been in they consider them special needs and so they used two thousand five hundred dollars of that so we have about 
$2,500, $25,000, I'm sorry, $25,000 left to use in the next five years for our tax liability, which is awesome. It's so good for adoptive moms and dads to be able to use this tax credit. Um, and it's so great, like you, it just saves your family money and I just think it's super valuable. One thing to note about the tax credit is if your income in 2018 it exceeds over $47,000, you, you can't qualify for this tax credit. And if it's between 207 and 247,000, um, you'll just get partial credit for this tax credit. So if you make those income amounts, if you make a ton of money, like that's a ton of money in my mind, like you, you won't qualify for those things. Now you know we make under $207,000 a year, <laughs> which is most people in the United States, I would say. And that's super valuable. This is all super valuable information for you guys and it's so good to be able to get this tax credit. Something else about a tax refund that I wanted to share with you guys is so important. Most of us as parents, we get tax refunds because of our children and we get tax breaks because of our children. This year you got a $4,000 deductible because of your child. I just, I can't even fathom that. It's just like doubled in the last year, which is awesome. But if you're getting a tax refund back for your children and you're getting a large sum, lump sum of money, what I encourage people to do with that is to put it away for their children. Like you wouldn't be getting that money anyways. You'd probably be paying taxes in anyways if you didn't have these children like living with you. And so unless you have debt, of course, go ahead and pay it on your debt. But like, I just, really like encourage you just to put it away towards their college and that would be awesome for them. We've been doing this for several years with our children. We actually decided to do this way back um, before we even started having children and I just feel like it's the best solution for them and for their college future. Like his college is very expensive and I don't want my children to be in debt. So just a little side note about that. So. The last thing I want to say on this video is if you made it to this end of the video, you are one of the few lucky ones that are going to know about this new upcoming thing that our family is doing. We're starting a new YouTube channel. It's called the Debt Free Family Vlog and I'm very excited about it. And we are all about um, helping families save money and become a, like all they're meant to be. So like a lot of people have dreams and sometimes your finances put limits on those dreams. And so we wanted to create this vlog to show people what it's like to live debt free and to live victorious um, with your finances and not full of like, Shaw. you know how it is like when you're in like financial ruin, it just, it just sucks so much. So I'll put it in the link below and I have a few videos up there already. So if you want to go watch that, you sure can. You're welcome. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. And if you have any other tips or tricks about that adoption tax credit, I would love to see them in the comments below. I would love for mamas to help mamas, foster mamas to help foster mamas. Like I would love to see all that things happening. If you have a question, I'll try to answer it in the comments below. Like I said, I'm not a professional tax consultant here, but I do know that I studied this for a long time before I did it. And I hope it's not too late for you to file your taxes with this credit on it. So. Also in the link below, I'm gonna put a couple articles in there of some really good information that I found about the tax credit that I didn't know about before. And so if you are interested in reading those articles, I would just like go ahead and click on them right now. So that, that would be really helpful for you. So anyways, I hope you guys are having the best day ever and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.